Hello and welcome to another Prolani video. So today I'm going to be discussing my browser keyboard mappings that I did. Um, so these are related to my pentadactyl on Pale Moon and Tridactyl uh, and Vimperator as well. So if you don't know what these are, these are uh, uh, Firefox um, add-ons uh, that allow you to control your browser with your keyboard only and you don't have to basically touch your mouse at all. So the first video that I did related to this these series was uh, regarding which settings to change in uh, Firefox and Pale Moon. Um, the second one was uh, the last one which where I showed the UI changes from Vimperator to Pentadactyl to Tridactyl and in this video I'm going to be as I said uh, showing the mappings and in the next one I'll do how to install Penta on Pale Moon. So I made actually uh, over the years quite a few key bindings. I had a US style uh, layout keyboards uh, so keyboards with the single style uh, single row enter key like over here. I had uh, EU style keyboards as well uh, with the uh, big enter key and as you can see, they're a little bit different. So here we have the ANSI QWERTY US layout. Uh, this is the standard one. Uh, then we have the classic one and we have the alternate one. Uh, the same thing goes with the, uh, the EU layout. Uh, now one thing to note, I always use the, when using the EL, EU layout, I use the German um, the German layout. So it's uh, the all the keys and whatnot are with the German uh, symbols. Okay. All right. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and look at this. So over here, I have Pale Moon with uh, Pentadactyl. Um, over here, I have a virtual representation of my keyboard with uh, my exact same layout that I use, which I'll go ahead and uh, explain a little bit uh, in a second. Of all of these key bindings, these are these are. This is the one that I'm using um, by far the most and I'm using right now. So, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let me just show you here real quick. Uh, so I have a few things changed. This is the, obviously, as you can see, the EU style layout. So the ISO layout. So I have my escape key over here. I have my control key over here. Uh, these two keys are uh, not binded to anything um, and and over here I'm not gonna go too much into this but as you can see this here is actually my super key or as you would call it the uh, the Windows key uh, I have my alt key over here and my and I have my insert key over here okay so let's let's go ahead and uh, dive right in it um, this might be a long video, but uh, let's get going. So, okay, so first off, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, when I press a key, uh, this will register over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and type something. I'll go over here. Uh, and I'm gonna press key over here. And what happens? I'm at the bottom of the page. Okay, so I'm at the bottom of the page. And um, so yeah, Q is bottom of the page. Now, Top of the page is A. So when I press A, I'm at the top of the page. Q is bottom, A is top. Um, somebody asked me on the forums, why isn't A bottom, Q top? Because it just seems more logical, right? If you have A beneath, beneath Q, A should be bottom, Q should be top. It's because when I'm uh, going through the web page, usually what I wanna do is I wanna get back to the top where you have the navigation and, and whatnot, right? And I very rarely need to go to straight to the bottom. This is why A is in the home row. We have W. Now W is um, closed tab. So if I uh, if I press W, the tab will close. Very simple, right? Now we'll skip E for now. We'll go to R. R is reload tab. So when I press R, the tab will, will uh, reload. Now E is to stop reloading the tab. So I press R, I press E, and as you can see, the web page has stopped reloading, right? I, I press R again and it's gonna reload. 
Um, then we have um, T. T is um, T is a tab duplicate. So when I press T, I'm going to duplicate my tabs. Um, when I press Z, Z is usually, as we can see here, is to um, close other tabs. So I have a number of tabs open. I'll press Z and that will close and I'll have the, uh, this one left. Um, U is undo close uh, the tabs that I closed. I is to, we'll skip I for now, we'll go to O. So O is to open up the sort of the command prompt at the bottom left. So when I press O, usually what's going to happen is I'm going to type a URL. So let's go ahead and type the, okay, so I'm at the site that was at because I pressed O, I, I put the URL in and I'm here. When I want to open up a URL in the background tab, I'll press I. So I press I and it's going to say tab open instead of open. Uh, and I'm going to uh, put in uh, um, the same uh, URL. And now it's opened up the same URL in the background tab. And notice that it opened it up in focus. It didn't open it up. It's, uh, that's uh, with the focus on the previous tab, it opened it in uh, the new tab in focus. Okay, then we have P. Now P is, um, let me just go ahead and uh, open up a link. Now P is to move page forward. Okay, so when, when I press P, I'm going to move to the link that I was, uh, the forward link. M is the move back to the previous link. So I press M, previous link, P, link forward, okay. So this is navigating basically like with your uh, your uh, arrow keys on um, in your browser. Uh, so that's about it for the first row. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, move to the second row. A, as I said, top of the page, uh, Q, bottom of the page. Uh, S and D are to, so when I press, uh, when I press uh, uh, A, or actually when I press uh, D, I'm moving the focus to the tab on the right and S is moving focus to the tab on the left. So it's basically navigating your tabs, right? When I press D, I'm moving to the focus to the tab on the right. Uh, S is moving to the focus on the tab on the left. Okay. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, open up the URL and then we'll go. Okay, so when I press F, I can select a link and it will open the link up in the background tab, but it will not bring it up into focus. Okay, so that is F. H, uh, H is home page. So when I press H, I move to my home page. I can press M, I go back to the site where it was. J is obviously move down, K is move up on the page. L is to open up a link, but this time uh, it will open the link up in my current tab as opposed to my as opposed to a background tab with F. So if I press F, it's gonna say follow hint in a background tab at the bottom. And when I press select a link, it'll open it up in a background tab. And again, follow hint. So I pressed L, I press Q to open up a link and it opened up in um, my current tab. Moving down to the bottom row. So here we have, um, let's skip Y and X and go to C. So C is my search, okay. So C is search or find. So if when I press uh, um, C, it will open up the, uh, the find command. So if I press uh, 300, uh, it's going to find um, the uh, 300 on the page. So when I press X, it's looking at 300 where it is on the page. When I press uh, the Y or Z, depending if you, if you have a chord Z or chord D keyboard, it's gonna move up, right? It's moving down with X, moving up with Y. So V is, um, uh, v is a previous search. So uh, if I'm searching something new, when I press V, it's going to uh, pop back to the previous search that I did. Okay, uh, we'll skip B, N, N is to copy the current URL. So when I, when I press N, as you can see, it says at the bottom left, yank, and the 
current URLs. Okay, then we have um, M. M is a page back, as I said. Now, then we have uh, the comma. So that's uh, okay. So I'm like, uh, I'm just navigating the site and I'm looking at all of these things. And uh, I want to go back to the front page pretty much of the URL. I'll just pr press a comma and it'll go to the front page of the website that I'm at. Okay, and then we have the dots. So when I press dot, it's going to show me the HTML of the current URL that I'm at. And that's pretty much it. Um, regarding the lowercase letters. Okay, now then we have the uppercase. So as you can see, I have H, J, K, L, I, O, and C. So H is move tab first. I'm over here and I want to move this your, uh, this tab over here to be the first one, okay? So what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press shift key because I want the uppercase letter uh, and I'll press H. H is so it's the first tab, L is the last tab and um, J is to move the tab to the left and K is to move the tab to the right. Okay, so left, right, first, last. So this is related to moving the tab where you want it when you're uh, when you're navigating in the the, uh, the tabs. Now I and O is to scroll page down fast. O is to scroll scroll page up fast. So this is just related to the number of lines that uh, the the uh, page will uh, jump to uh, when you're navigating it. I believe I have uh, J and K as uh, 45 and 55 lines and uh, I and O are uh, a bit more than that. C is carrot mode, but I'll, I'll skip that for now. And as a, if we have a look here, so here is my, um, my a simplified pr uh, presentation of the what each button does. So these are related to search, uh, these are related to tabs, um, and it just says over here, so page, tab, URL, uh, link, system related, uh, search. So C is uh, search related, so it's in the blue color. So search is blue. And then when you have these, which are uh, cut into half, that means this is just related to the uppercase lettering. So J is, uh, J is to move fast, uh, move page down and move page down fast, right? So it's split into half. Um, and uh, and yeah, uh, a zero is my save and exit state. And this is a simplified heat map where uh, I just measured over over these over some time. Um, which keys I press the most and which keys I press the least. So yeah, this is this is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do this video to um, show you the thought process on uh, how to pretty much um, set up uh, your browser for uh, keyboard uh, navigation, right? Because uh, if you don't set it, if you don't have it set it up perfectly, um, it's gonna it's not gonna be a good experience. Uh, so yeah, okay, so this is pretty much it for this video as I said in, in one of my next videos I'll do how to install tutorial and uh, we'll pick it up from there. Okay. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time